sir. Yes, yes, yes. You're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with yes. Brother Old God and Sam. Man, everybody watching on any platform that you're watching on, make sure you go and hit that like button. Yeah. Share the video and make sure you comment on all the content that we will be uploading. Also, you can look at the Uncensored playlist for all the full podcasts, and we will be uploading this to SoundCloud you know, real soon. So look forward to that. Yeah, man, it's a lot of things going on. We know Kanye West's interview is actually trending number one. Yeah, man. On um at first on uh YouTube. Yeah, man. man. It slipped a little bit. It got over almost like 10 million views now. So it's moving. It's crazy. And, and it's a lot of talking points, a lot of people attacking Kanye West. Oh man. First first and foremost, man, I, I, I want to just defer this to you real quick. Mm. What was your first thought? Because we have two different things here. We have one Kanye West in the middle of TMZ screaming, going back and forth with another black dude. And then we got the other Kanye West sitting down with Charlemagne and really kind of just being chill. That's him. You know what I mean? And, and just pouring out his heart and talking about Jay-Z and all different types of situations. What was your first initial thought be, when, when you seen this Ka Kanye West incident? You know, in particular, let's talk about the uh, when he talked about when you wore the hat. Let's talk about that first, the Trump, the whole Trump thing. When he came out with the hat, what was your first initial thoughts when you seen that? The first initial thought was he's a clown. He's clowning. Like you, you a clown for that. I hear you. That's typical Kanye West clowning shit. Let's get the attention drawn back to me. Um, we all know how polarizing Trump was. We all know how hate driven campaign he 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 drank he ran, excuse me, and how he won off of a hate driven campaign, which in a sense Kanye almost respected because he just used the energy whatever kind of energy it was and he swayed it in his direction so just using that law in power him putting that hat on automatically he knew he would get the kind of reaction that he would get i mean if his album sales are going to be off the hook i don't care what anybody says in mm -hmm. the, the day people are going to buy all of his music that he put out that's why he threw that out there first before all of this attention every day people are talking about kanye now the context in which he's speaking the my first reaction like i said he was a clown and then when you start just stripping and get down and really listening to what he's saying I understand what he's saying and you can see the laws that being are being manipulated but like we alluded to in our pre-production meeting you got to be careful in in all the information that you give people because people not everyone is ready to receive the information or or can properly um take in the information the way they need to or the way you're trying to display it and the way you're coming off in your speech is going to be hard for a lot of people that are polarized one way or another to to understand what you're really breaking down that's just a basic gener general synopsis of what I have to say. Let's dig deeper into it. But what's your um, what's your take on Kanye right now? Well, you know, the New York Post uh, had an excellent article where they kind of you know broke it down some of his statements. So you know, there's a uh, long two videos out there now, you know, um, with this information. But Kanye West went on to talk about racism, and he wrote in his rap, um, "I got this rap that says parents are the strippers, strip they kids." of confidence teach white dominance question your common sense i've been washed in tradition now i'm a rinse hopped off the amistad and i'm made i'm a god so mm. when, you, when you when you when you when you look at that and mm. you know my whole summation of everything that happened you're looking at a first and foremost a genius you know and a gemini like me me and both me and kanye are both gemini so you know people always even in both interviews you kind of seen two different you know what i mean that's that's kind of how we are um with the whole you know the thing the polarities whatever whatever you call it you know the shit i talk about but <laughs> <laughs> you know um kanye man you know he he's just you know a case of a black man growing up in america i think he's normal i think he's just like us i don't think he's crazy i think uh you know we're going to get to the comment about slavery about the racism um aspect um he goes on to say here i'm going to read a little bit more before i go uh he says um because they talked about the 20 dollar bill with harriet tubman he put, um, was the moment that I, when Harry Tubman was on the $20 bill was the moment that I wanted to use Bitcoin. It's like when they see all the slave movies, we got to keep reminding us about slavery. Why don't they show us Michael Jackson um, or Michael Jordan on the $20 bill? I'm going to say Michael Jordan. So, you know, Kanye West is more woke than we think. Mm -hmm. He's more woke than we think. And you're going you're gonna to have not everybody, you just got to face it, people... Every because you see, if you look all over the internet now, you see everybody with all these different perceptions of you know uh what Kanye said. Everybody is not gonna be thinking on that frequency. And the first person I think that ironically was the guy at TMZ who jumped up. I can't remember the brother's name right now, but the bro Kanye was at TMZ and he was making a point saying that he was addicted to opioids. 
you know, which is, you know, everybody knows it's pres prescription painkillers, which is an epidemic in rap. That's a mm -hmm. whole other thing. This dude jumps up. Kanye West is in there making making a point, whether you like it or not. He's making a point. And what was the point that he's making? Kanye is trying to get the message to us, trying to get the message to people, black, white, whatever, is that we have to stop caring about what people think and be free thinkers, not only free thinkers, but to think outside the box. So Kanye West is trying to actually get us to stop living in the prison of our mind first because everything is mental. And when you finally... And you and everybody doesn't. Some people get to this point in certain parts of their life. Some people never get to this point. When you finally start letting go of the chains of your mind, is when you be begin to be free. Mm -hmm. So just to jump over to the to the, to the slavery comment, where he I think he kind of slipped up and said that four hundred years of slavery. He said it's a choice. Now a lot of people took that out of context. A lot of people automatically thought that he was going all the way in. Like damn, like these slaves got they, they was just choosing to be enslaved and, and and put in slavery and put in chains and beat we all know the story mm. but then he kind of backtracked and talked about the mental right now we have a situation in america and they talk about racism i think is an issue that has to be put on the table and I, i'm glad to see more celebrities stars you know actors athletes whatever you know putting this issue on the table because it's, it's the issue that's been swept under the rug so when you see somebody like kanye you know uh put the message out there some people are going to get it. Some people are not. But I think that Kanye West, matter of fact, I don't think I know that Kanye West is accurate in his assessments of what he's talking about. And only how you can really know it is if you do it. Mm. And when once you start to see that nothing can hold you back, that you, you can't put limitations on this and you could do what you want to do no matter what. As you see him starting from where he started in Chicago. Now, you know, um, he talked about a billion dollar clothing company, you know, uh, platinum records top records everything you know what i mean this is what he's evolving to now he's even talking about going to be the president so you could do what you want to do when you put your mind to it i think that's what kanye's trying to get the people who are on that frequency to wake up and see that ultimately is what i think right and i mean when he when he made the comment of 400 years we were a slave and that was choice the first thing that jumped to mind was like we said and in, in many of slave movies you see that main house nigga He's sitting there shaving boss, you know <laughs> what right. I mean? And he has this, this straight razor in his hand, could easily slide his throat, or slit his throat, excuse me, with like the snap of his fingers, but he wouldn't dare do it. He wouldn't dare do it. And you hear often, you hear stories about slaves once they were freed, they didn't know what to do with themselves because they were prison, often like a prisoner. They, they're so, they're in prison for so long. Once they get out of jail, they're so programmed to be within the confines of that system. Mm -hmm. They don't know what to do or how to be free. And I think a lot of us are manipulated under that mindset of not knowing what freedom really tastes and smells like and what it really is, because we're living in a society now where there's nothing more than the evolution and a modernization of slavery right now. When you look at hoods, when you look at the way we live, our school system, the way that's manufactured, our, how we eat and the, and the various restaurants and stores we have mm -hmm. in the society in, the, in, in which we live, nothing's really healthy, diabetes, kidney disease, all the major ailments that go on within our society and why that happens, that's a direct link to how we eat and how we live. So you know the statistics are just outstanding and how the it, it, it's staggering how it's against us and free mind and free thought may not hurt a lot of us at the end of the day. And we have to really come to that conclusion because you have a lot of people out here, stars, really going at Kanye, going at him hard. Yeah. And, and okay, maybe it's deservedly so in a clowning manner, but when you do it and you're the forefront, in destroying his name, not white people, but black people, what does that say for us too? Let's not really dive into it and really dissect what he's saying and come to him personally. Cause you see the Snoop Dogs, you see the fifties and fifties a clown, he, he trolls. So I'm gonna leave him out, but Snoop Dogg in particular, you have Kanye's number. You can hit Kanye up and go, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? If you really felt the way you do, but you use your platform to bash, to put out there the image that he's an Uncle Tom, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you're not even trying to have the power of a real conversation with this brother to mm -hmm. dig into what he's really trying to do. Shout out to T.I. for going to his crib and really listening to the man and that trying to listen to what he was doing. And then he ended up making a record out of it, a damn dope album at that. We need more dialogue and more conversation. And I think Kanye West, no matter what his method is, is bringing that to the forefront. That conversation needs to be happened. The, the, the comment on Harriet Tubman, I don't know how that was perceived. That was the first time that mm -hmm. I heard it, but it just makes me go, damn, he does have a point. You put Harriet Tubman on there, revolutionist, strong black woman. No one's denying that. But you put her on the back of Andrew Jackson 
seventh president of the United States, one of the biggest slave owners in the history of America. Mm. What does that say? You feel me? What does that really say? You're not giving her freedom. You still have her controlled at the end of the day. And I think Kanye's just trying to bring up these conversations. No matter his method, we need to strip it down and listen. But it goes back to my original premise. Not everyone is ready to receive this information and digest it in the way he's trying to give it. And he has to stop forcing it and try to force feeding him on people because he's going to see nothing more than backlash and the energy that he is trying to portray. You're going to let other people go in there and manipulate that. So if I had any advice to Kanye, and I mean, who am I? He ain't got to fucking listen. Right. But I would just kind of tuck off and kind of stay within your bag. Let that shit come out through your music and don't let people have the room to give their criticisms and have the backlash that they have right now right right and you know to, to, to speak to uh to the snoop dog point and i want to also speak on the, the whole dad dillinger mm -hmm. you know thing yeah. about putting the crips on them you, you got to touch on that but to speak to you know you talk about snoop you know to me it's a little hypocritical snoop you know, to be coming at Kanye and calling him, I think he called him a coon and, all, coon and stuff like time. that. He, he hit right. him with everything. No, what, 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 what was Snoop? You know, when he was making all that gangster music, man. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I understand that we all go through our progression in life. And at one point, I was one way. Now, I'm a different way. Now, I understand that. But again, we can't be going at each other like that. You know what I'm saying? If, we, if we're going if we're gonna talk about us coming up, we can't be destroying each other in the media like that, man. And we can we can talk and tell the truth, but like you said, he should have hit that brother, you know what I mean, on the side and said, "Yo, this is what it is." But you know, for him to go ahead and throw all that out there like that, you just adding to more of the problem, man. So and then it, man. then you got the other side of of the white people who 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 want to who who love to see that. They love to sit back and and, and, and then monetize that. Mm -hmm. uh, them going at each other and say, "Look at these two cats going at, you know, at each other's throat." Mm -hmm. So if there is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, a conversation that's being ruined at this point, because they're going to say, "Man, we not, you know, this is some some crazy." They going at each other. Yeah, man. So it's just like, you know, this is something that we don't see from other people. We don't really see them throwing each other on the bus like that. So we got to have some, you know decorum about the way we you know we kind of deal with each other. I think. Yeah, like you said, Daz Dillinger. Yeah, you know I mean, we all know California. Yeah, you know I mean, run with. The set he run with at the end of the day, you feel me? He called, he tried to call arms to Kanye and have wow. people put hands on Kanye <laughs> at the end of the day. And when I seen it, I'm like, damn, like it reminded me of what Meek Mill said when he came to the trick daddy. Ain't nobody trying to put hands on Zimmerman, no. You call Kanye West because he puts on a red hat and, and, and endorses Trump and says some things that if you really break them down, he may have some fucking points. You want to put arm and put harm on his brother because of that? What does that really say? And what kind of image are you painting for everyone out there, the consumer? And we all know who really consumes it. And the image that you're painting, what does that say for us? Did Kanye really do whatever you agree with or disagree with? Did he really do anything that egregious to have hands put on him? Really? Like, come on, man. That's getting out of bounds. But like I said, Zimmerman walks free. Tamara Rice's killer walks free. It, it, the, the list goes on and on of lives that's been taken at the hands of other hands, that being predominantly white men to black body. And no one's out here calling arms or calling crips or calling bloods or calling anybody to go take arms on that. But Kanye throws on the motherfucking Trump hat and maybe says some things that you don't understand. And now he has to go. That's a little much for me, man. I'm sorry. It, a, it just highlights, you know, um, I think the mental illness, you know, in America. I ain't gonna say this in our community. That's still, yeah. you know, in America, man. We, we got a lot of stuff to deal with at the end of the day. Facts. You know, but yeah, you know, uh, shout out to Kanye, man. Keep doing your thing because I could see through despite of all what I can see through, you know, what the bigger, you know, point in the message is, you know, you got people attack, attacking this man on all different angles, man. It's just not cool. Yeah, I mean, we have fun with Kanye. It's funny to joke. He does say that the way he distributes it is funny and it's funny to joke on. But like you said, when you strip it down for the essence of which is really being distributed, he's saying some truthful shit and we really just got to get his due to break. And I don't know if he even wants a break. It might just be falling right into his hands because Pusha T's coming out. Tiana Taylor's coming out. Kid Cudi's coming out. His own album's coming out. His album with Kid Cudi coming out. Mm -hmm. And all we all know, Nas is coming out with the production of Kanye yes. West. So Kanye West is out here winning, man. I don't think he's really worried about it too crazy. He's going to get his attention the way he gets it. And we are just going to consume it the way we consume it. Here at the Uncensored Truth Podcast saying, yes, man, yes. oh God, viral hip-hop news, hip-hop news uncensored right here on Friday night.